anti-Semitism. Here we go again, just when we think that we were past it. It is shocking how quickly it rears its ugly head. And it leaves us unnerved by the amount. How do we deal with it? I want to share with you an approach. I recently saw a video about a rally in Teaneck. In Teaneck, New Jersey, they had a rally in support of it. It looked like they were in, like, in front of a municipal building on a street. I don't know if you've seen this before. And I saw a clip of this rally that exemplifies to me exactly our response towards anti-Semitism. On the rally, you see two sides. One was a free Palestine rally, literally just spewing hate at the Jewish population. On the other side, you have the Jews in support of Israel, and they weren't spewing hate back. It was crazy. They were arm in arm. I hope that you had a chance to see this. They were literally arm in arm, and they're singing a song. Like you can't, you're, they're singing. And they're singing a song that comes, a line from the Haggadah. Every Pesach Seder, we have a line in Haggadah where we say, You stood up to our forefathers and us. And this is a song that we have about, about anti Semitism. And we say, In every generation, they stand up to destroy us. And I'm thinking to myself, oh my gosh. I say this every single year. And every year we say, you think Pharaoh was the only one? You think Pharaoh was the only one? You think Egypt was the only one that tried to kill us? Pharaoh and then Amalek and then the nations of, Iz- of Canaan. And then we fought the Plishtim. It was constant. The Babylonians, the Greeks, the Assyrians. Constant throughout the generations. The Spanish Inquisition. The Nazis. Like This is like part of our deal. And then it ends with, V'akadosh Baruch Hu Matzileinu Miyadam. Where are the Babylonians? Where are the Romans? Where are the Greeks? Where are them? We're strong. We're there. We're here. And here's this dichotomy of one half of the rally yelling and screaming and pushing hatred. Other half not even responding back. It was awesome. They're arm in arm and they're praying up. And it dawned on me. That's what it means to be strong now. That's how we deal with anti-Semitism. Physically, take care, protect, defend, no question. Mentally and emotionally, don't even focus on it. It's totally illogical. Don't even get into it. What are you going to say? What are we going to say? That, what? We're talking about Hamas. Are you kidding me? We, we want to go into Hamas. We're not trying to help and save civilians. Like they, have ho- they build military centers under hospitals. Like, What are you going to argue? Are you going to have a logical debate? Come on. That's not our response. Our response is unity and faith. Actus and Amuna. Arm in arm, singing songs that God's going to save us. Right now we are facing, for many of us, the anti-Semitism that we only heard about. This is not the time for us to feel discouraged. This is the time for us to feel encouraged. We have each other. We have people that love us. We have God who will take care of us. He always has, and he always will. Our job when we deal with darkness is not to fight darkness with darkness. Our job is to fight darkness with light. We are the nation of light. Hanukkah candles lights the darkness with light. And so wherever you are, when you feel the discomfort of anti-Semitism, take that energy, that fear and upsetness and anger and frustration and shock and, and just total, like you want to pull your hair out with the, with the irrationality, all those feelings and channel it towards unity and faith. Put your arm, so to speak, around somebody else tighter. Do something positive. Pray harder. Give more. That's what this is for. Every bit of darkness they throw at us, convert it into more light for us. Let's build this bonfire of light, of goodness, of kindness, of togetherness, of faith as big as it can possibly go because 
There is no question the greatest way to stop this and the greatest way to deal with this is with each other. Thank you.